So question two asks us to simplify. It says answers may not contain negative exponents. And also implicit here is the simplest form won't contain any remaining giant one. So if I look at part A, um, the first thing that I see is I see that I have three of these x squared. So I can write it out. There's an x squared and another x squared and another x squared. So x squared times x squared times x squared is x to the sixth. And shouldn't it be much of a, a surprise, right? The shortcut is when I have a power to a power, I can multiply this exponent times the power I'm raising it to. So 2 times 3 is 6. But also I can think about why it's 6. Uh, the next thing that I have here is I'm going to multiply this times um, times 3 more factors of x. That's interesting. Times 3 more factors of x. So that's going to be x to the ninth power, right? six factors of x and then three more of them is x to the ninth power. Again, I can write them all out and count them and there's going to be nine factors of x. The final part of this is I've got a y uh, to the negative second power and I'm just going to basically wipe out that negative exponent by multiplying by a giant one in the form of y squared over y squared. Um, in the numerator now, let me get my different pen here, I'll get a different color. Uh, in my numerator, I've got um, this is equal to y to the 0 power. And that's why I chose to multiply it by y to the second. Um, so in my numerator, I have y to the 0 power, which is 1. And then I've got this x to the ninth power still. And in my denominator, I've got y squared. So my answer is uh, x to the ninth over y squared. Um, in question part B, I can see that I've got 6 over 12. Well, there's clearly a giant 1 there, and I could write it as 6 over 2 times 6, right? So there's a 1. So I'm going to be left with a 2 in the denominator. Let's look at this a little bit further. I've got an x and a y to the 8th, and then down in the denominator I've got y to the 10th power. So last thing I'll, I guess I could do is um, I know when I look at this, I've got um, 8 factors of y in the numerator and 10 factors of y in the denominator. If I was to write those out and cancel them, uh, or write them out and create a giant 1 with them, I'm sorry, I would be left with 2 factors of y in my denominator. So, um, and I could also, re I guess I could write it this way as well. I could say, hey, look, this is going to be an x um, and then y to the 8th power. And in my denominator, I'm going to have a 2 and I'll have a y to the 8th times a y squared. So what I've done is I've chosen to let myself see this. Well, that's terrible. I can't see the um, the ink was too dark. And now I've, now I've erased things. This is ridiculous. Uh, let me go back to the black pen. I've got an x, y to the 8th, and over y to the 10th. So what I'm doing is I'm rewriting this y to the 10th. I'm rewriting it as y to the eighth, y to the second. Right? Clearly, those two things I've highlighted in, in purple are the same. So I'm allowed to make that change. What's nice about making that change is now I can see that I have another giant one of y to the eighth over y to the eighth. Uh, so the answer that I'll end up with is uh, in the numerator, I will have just a factor of x. And in my denominator, I'm going to have a 2y to the second power. So that's the answer for part B. Um, x divided by 2y squared. Um, for part C, let's see. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and deal with the numerical parts. First here I've got a 1 half and I've got an 8 and there's just a factor of 1 in the denominator, right? So um, 1 half times 8 is 4. So I know right off the bat I'm going to have a value of 4 in my numerator. And if I'm looking at my factors of a, I can see that I've got two factors of a and four more factors of a in the numerator. That's a total of uh, six factors of a. So I've got a to the sixth in the numerator, and I've got b to the uh, third. And then down in my denominator, I've got a to the fifth power. Well, <laughs> I can choose to rewrite this, and I'm going to. I'm going to look at this. Um, a to the sixth power, or sixth power. I'm going to rewrite it so that I can very easily see my giant one. So I'm just going to rewrite this as four times a to the fifth times a to the first times b to the third. 
and then down in my denominator I've got this a to the fifth still so my motivation there you know I just I find that I make fewer errors when I th when I look at this carefully and I think about it like this um, in my numerator you can see it was in it's in purple I had a to the six and I rewrote that right down here in this step where I rewrote it I rewrote it as a to the fifth a to the first those are totally the same thing right a to the fifth times a to the first is a to the sixth and now that I see that they're exactly the same right I can see that there's clearly a giant one here of a to the fifth over a to the fifth and what I'm left with in my numerator is there's a four there's also an a and there's also a b to the third power so I've got four a b to the third and then finally for part d um, <laughs> I I think I'll highlight this, but this is the, I think this is the problem that many of you had. You looked at this and you said, you know what? That's the same as this, and they're not, right? One is a to the negative second power, totally different. I'm sorry, x to the negative power, uh, second power, totally different than x to the second power. So be careful, right? They, if if you're going to form a giant one and just you know create a one and write this as one over y squared it has to be a one and this isn't so um, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to neutralize this negative exponent in my denominator so I'm going to multiply this by x squared in my denominator right and, and when I do that this will form x to the zero which is equal to one that's why I'm choosing to put to multiply by x to the second of course I have to do that in both the top and the bottom right so that I'm not changing the value of this and look big picture I'm multiplying by one so I'm not changing the value I'm multiplying by one in this form right and the reason why is because uh, it'll get rid of the x negative exponent that I have in my denominator so now I can see my answer right it's x to the fourth power over y to the second power and that's it x to the fourth over y to the second